my friends. I got another chill ride for you today. Oh man, look at this viewpoint. I don't even know what that is, that body of water. It's, maybe it'll tell me, there's a sign. The Severn River. That is so cool. We're on 450 out here near Annapolis. I just got done with a dual vlog ride with Andy from Moto's Cades and Coffee. Cool dude, check out his channel. Look at that. Hold on. Aha! I am winning today. Holy sh! This is awesome. Look at that view. This is so cool. I love finding little hidden gems like this. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. Wow. And all I did was tell the uh, tell the Harley GPS, I want to take the scenic route home and avoid highways and tolls. And this is where it brings me, y'all. This is great. How cool is that? Hey, if you like to cross rivers on your motorcycle, leave the video a like. That'll tell me exactly what's going on. <laughs> we're out here, I believe we're on Maryland 450. It is a snaky road, as you can see from that side right there. And there's slow traffic ahead. But the squiggly lines on my navigator say this is gonna be a fun one to show you guys. So I hope you enjoy, sit back, relax, Enjoy the tunes, enjoy the sights, and whatever kind of inane BS I come up with, talk about while I'm riding. <laughs> Just like any other road reality video, right? Whoa, Nelly. Oh man, this road is fun. We are out somewhere near Annapolis. I'm not exactly sure, but I think we're in Pasadena. Editor, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> it is a beautiful, beautiful spring day towards the end of April. And I am out on a Saturday afternoon jaunt. I don't know why I said it that way, but I'll roll with it. We're just enjoying knees in the wind. Look, see, knees, they're in the wind. Ah, suckers, y'all sitting at home on your TV or smartphone or your computer. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, thank you for coming along on a ride with me. I do appreciate it. If you like what I'm doing here, leave a comment, let me know. I'm always down for chatting with the people willing to sit through my shenanigans. And I'd be going a little bit quicker, but these cars just, uh, they're meandering today, and I'm kind of all right with that. I really feel that this kind of bike is suited to these kinds of roads because it's got the big riot shield and the fairing and all that and the hard bags so you can tour on it. But these roads are big and wide and it's got these nice sweepers in it like this one here. You can just lean this bike over into the corner, keep on going. I'm not leaning that hard, but I'm enjoying it. And I'm getting an experience that you don't get in a car. I am open to the elements. It's pretty high water level there. Only a couple of feet below the road. Ooh, look over there, more water. Yay, more water. Whoa. <laughs> Pay attention to the road, John. There's bumps there. Hey, look at that, a sharp right corner, huh? Ooh, how fast can we go through this? 20, it says 20, right? Now look at that corner. I wasn't leaned over aggressively, but I was leaned over a little bit. I went through there somewhere north of 20, so I think that's a pretty successful corner. I made it through there comfortably. Hey, another biker. Street Glide. What's up, buddy? Yeah, that's right. Street Glide Nation, baby. Bagger life. Bagger Nation. My favorite hashtags on the Instagram. I have an Instagram. I'll leave a link here on the screen. You can go visit it. Check out my Lego builds and what other kind of crazy rides I go on. 
They're not that crazy, John. Shut up. But this is such a fun road, and I don't even know what's recording. I'm on like the last few percent of a battery on both cameras, and I think the remote told me that the Max is connected too and recording. I don't really know. I will find out later. Right now, I am living my best life, enjoying being out on two wheels. Are you living your best life? What is the difference between where you're at and where you want to be? Think about that. Ponder it. like 10 feet in front of my bike. Holy crap. Wow. What a fun road to ride on. And if this recording gets cut off, well, hell's bells, I'm gonna have to come back out here and ride it again. Like I said, this bike loves this road. This is the perfect, ooh. Hey, you know what? That was washed out recently. Wow. I know we had some heavy rains, but that's just ridiculous. Still recording. I've been recording the last like two hours on these batteries, off and on using the remote, of course. It really does lengthen the amount of time I can ride before a battery swap, but I didn't bring any more batteries with me, so I'm kind of hosed when these run out. But I have a feeling that we're going to end this video in about two minutes, because we're gonna hit a divided highway. Funny enough story, Many years ago, I had a scooter, a 49.3 cc step through chassis scooter, twist and go. And it was a lot of fun to ride. I actually rode it from Olney, where I lived at the time, to Annapolis Mall, which is back the other way, several miles, where I was. I, I bought Lego. I did the pick a brick wall. They had a lot of different parts compared to my local Lego store, but that's neither here nor there. But I took one gallon of fuel, it had a pre-mixed chamber for the oil, and I rode all the way from Olney to Annapolis Mall on that scooter and back. It was four hours in the saddle on, I wanna say like September 4th or September 10th. It was Cap's home opener, and my buddy had a big screen TV, but he lived all the way out here. So I wanted to come enjoy the game with him. So I rode out there, and then I rode home in the dark. Let me tell you, that was a lot of fun. And those, those little scooters, you know, we deride those as real motorcyclists, real motorcyclists. But the scooters are a lot of fun. They, uh, they don't get you into too much trouble because they don't go that fast, but they are a lot of fun to ride. You, get, uh, you can get them leaned over pretty good. I used to scrape my kickstand, which was folded up under the chassis. I used to scrape it all the time going around corners. <laughs> but yep, I rode all the way out there and back on one tank of fuel. It's kind of crazy. But the reason I bring it up is because you can't, in the state of Maryland, you cannot ride scooters on roads where, hey, that's Eastern Performance Cycles. They do a lot of Harley work. You couldn't ride a scooter on a road where the speed limit was greater than 50. So I used the divided highway that I'm gonna come across here shortly because it was like 50, I think, at the time for a half a mile, it was sketchy as f because here I'm on a scooter that tops out at 29 and I'm doing, everybody's doing like 55 or 60. So I'm doing half their speed trying to go down the road on this scooter. I put 5,000 miles on that thing in less than a year. It was hilarious. Yeah, we're two miles from the turnoff. But I rode this road and the, the road it connects to all the way, all these little back roads. I mapped it out on MapQuest. That's how long ago this was. I used MapQuest to map the directions, memorized them, rode out there. The funniest part was I had a stereo that I'd built for this scooter. It was a plywood box that sat between my, uh, between the, the, the handlebar thing, you know, and the uh, seat. So it was 
it took up the entirety of the step through area. I had to use the rear passenger pegs to put my feet on because there was nowhere else to put my feet. But I had a car CD player that would play CDs vertically and two Pioneer 4x6 speakers and a gel cell battery wrapped in t-shirts to keep it from vibrating apart many, many years ago. But it was a lot of fun and I played bad to the bone on it and scared cops with it and stuff. That was kind of hilarious. We had like a scooter gang, me and my buddy and another friend. We all used to go wah, riding around terrorizing the locals. <laughs> ah, too much fun. But hey, we're going to hit Route 3 here and head home. I hope you enjoyed this little video and story and that fun riding road, Maryland 450. If you did, boop the like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.